I'm going to introduce our first challenger today, Param Jaggi from ECOV8. He's the founder and CEO, and CEO stands for Chief Environmental Officer. Since age 13, and again, I think no big deal has been used a few times here to introduce some folks. Since age 13, he's innovated biofuel preparation. He's designed a highly effective bioreactor and created and patented a device that mitigates motor vehicle emissions. And another no big deal, in both 2012 and 2013, he was named to Forbes 30 under 30 list for energy. So without further ado, let's welcome our first challenger. Come on out. All right, go get him. One of my role models, Steve Jobs, once said that the ones that are crazy enough to think they can change the world are the ones who actually do. My name is Param Jaggi, and I'm the founder and CEO of Ecoviate. I'm currently 19 years old, and I'm fearless and crazy enough to think that I can build a cleaner and more sustainable environment to live in, and hopefully one day, change the world. Ecoviate creates sustainable technologies and empowers others to do the exact same thing. I remember when I was younger, I was looking into things like global pollution and greenhouse gases, and what I realized was that one of the biggest contributors to this field is the transportation industry. There's over 60 million cars produced every year, and this is only the tip of the iceberg. There's over 1.7 billion motor vehicles in the world today. Each one is contributing to over 2.4 million pounds of carbon dioxide that is being released every second. And it's because of this problem that something needs to be done not only for ourselves, but for, fu for future generations to come. You know, every morning I read uh, the new news on technology, and I always read about the next app or technological innovation that's going to change the world. But I was first an environmentalist and then second an entrepreneur, and I strongly believe that uh, it's really hard to change the world if you don't have a planet to live on. <laughs> because of this problem, Ecovid is working on two pragmatic solutions in the form of two different products. The first is called the Green Shields. The Green Shields is an add-on to school buses that makes them more aerodynamic. It reduces drag and thus reduces carbon emissions and fuel consumption. The Green Shields fits directly on the top of any school bus and applies to over 450,000 school buses around the world. We've launched two pilot programs of the technology in, down in Florida in two separate districts, and we have found a 25 to 30 percent decrease in fuel consumption. This means that the Green Shields technology pays for itself in the matter of about six months. The technology is currently pat patent pending, and um, we have over 15,000 pre-orders for the device around the world. The second technology is called the EcoTube and EcoTank. This is a fully patented system that reduces carbon emissions directly from the exhaust of any motor vehicle. The device is supplemented with a mobile application that incentivizes users to be more green with monetary incentives uh, in, a form of local, uh, in a form of discounts from local stores. Uh, the device now, um, after about four years, is fully patented, and we're launching a, a pilot program with Vanderbilt University in the fall um, in the form of um, about 1,000 units to test out the device. To remain as, as sustainable as possible throughout our journey, we've made a promise to plant one tree for every item that is either purchased or sold under the Ecoviate name. So far, we've been selling things like Ecoviate wristbands or posters of Ryan Gosling saving you from pollution we launched our new website with these products about two months ago, and we are currently on track to plant over 10,000 trees this year. This brings me back to my personal story. I started doing research at a very young age due to a general curi curiosity about the world. Um, after, after I started doing lab research, I started competing in science fair competitions around the world. When I was around 17, I was um, a couple of years ago, I was a sophomore at Vanderbilt University, and I, and I decided to move my lab directly into my dorm room. Since then, um, I've dropped out of school to pursue my venture full-time and founded Ecoviate. But the thing is, I'm not doing this alone. Ecoviate was founded when Johnny Cohen and myself met at the Forbes 30 Under 30 party. Johnny had been named for the second consecutive year for working on the Green Shield since the age of 13. I had been working on the Ecotube technology since the age of about 14. Rather than competing against each other in the same space, we decided to, to collaborate and build the, the sustainable future that we want to see. Throughout our journey, we've realized that we've had the power to truly um, empower and uh, inspire other youngsters around the world to develop their ideas. So about two months ago, we launched the Ecoviate Mentorship Program, a very informal mentorship program on our website 
um, that really tries to help and guide students around the world. In about two months, we've already given guidance to around 1,500 kids around the world. And after we launch a go-to-market strategy for our current products, we plan to launch a more formal and mentorship program integrated into our website to truly empower and foster uh, the creation of other sustainable projects. Uh, at eCoviate, we, we truly believe that um, if, if more kids around the world grew up thinking that they have the power um, and they have the power and the resources and the mentorship to grow up to be the next Mark Zuckerberg or Bill Gates or Richard Branson, we truly believe that more kids out there would develop tangible products out of their ideas. So that's where we've been, but where are we heading? We currently have deals with things like Vanderbilt and a few districts in Florida to launch pilot programs, and, and we're currently getting independently tested. And that'll be done by the end of 2014. We're planning on launching national distribution in early 2015. And um, before then, we wanted to solidify our business model and marketing strategy. Our fearless goals are that by 2016, we want to do two things. The first is to aggregate a mentorship program and, and to empower other students around the world and aggregate over 100,000 students. And the second is to plant over one million trees, which means one million items being sold between the green shields and the ecotube technology. Um, my role model, once again, Steve Jobs, he, uh, another quote that really resonates with me, with me is that he said that um, the world around you was built by people that are no smarter than yourself. And it's because we believe in that mentality that we think that we can build the sustainable future that we want to see. The plan with Ecoviate is to not only be a company, but to be a symbol of what can happen when a few kids around the world decide to, to push and challenge the current status quo. So with Ecoviate, we want to build sustainable technologies. We want to empower others to do the same and hopefully have some fun in the process. But we strongly believe that by ourselves, we can make cool and innovative products. But together, we can change the world. Thank you. That was fantastic. Thank, Thank you so much for sharing this with us. Um, and if you guys have any questions online or in the audience, feel free to go on to the social Q&A on the millennialimpact.com site, and we'll try to answer those. In the meantime, while we're waiting for them to populate, I think I would love to know, and I'm guessing a few others in the audience, what's your ideation process? How do you come up with these sorts of ideas and processes? Yeah, I've, um, I always try to characterize myself as an environmentalist and inventor. Um, since a young age, my parents, it's very cliche, but they told me that I would, I would tear apart my toys and try to reverse engineer all my toys, um, which usually didn't end, end well for me when I was young, but um, it really, just a general curiosity about the world. Um, so usually, you know, when I have an idea, I'll draw it out and then kind of reach out to the mentors that I have um, and really try to develop it in a very pragmatic way. That's great, that's great. So of the five Be Fearless principles, which includes everything from making a big bet, experimenting, failing forward, letting urgency conquer fear, and, and sort of partnering with unlikely partners. Is there one in particular that resonates with you? Um, it, I think it's really fail forward. Mm. I think one thing that um, I think our media doesn't do a good job of explaining is that the process to success isn't, isn't a, a linear correlation. Um, so, I mean, you're, from design to launching the product, there's a lot of things in the way. Um, and, you know, it, a speaker said yesterday to uh, fail fast and fail forward. Um, so know that there's going to be obstacles along the way, but if you have that general passion in mind, um, I, I think that's the, the one true way to find success. That's great. And one last question for you. Um, I loved what you said. You were an environmentalist first and then an entrepreneur second. And I think that calls back to some of the previous speakers, like Polly this morning who said, you know, go with your purpose and cause first. Uh, with Dale, find your passion. Uh, so for you, how has that worked out? What is, what is your drive? Yeah, I mean, my drive is really the um, a general just care for the environment um, and also being an inventor. Um, but what I've realized, um, I mean, I'm still only 19, but I really think that, um, I mean, you can have great ideas in the lab, but if people don't believe in what you're doing and kind of get behind the why of, of your product, um, then the change you want to see is not going to get implemented. Mm -hmm. um, so entrepreneurship is one route to um, really create that future that you want to see. Um, and so that's what we're planning on doing with Ecoviate. That's great. Well, thank you so much. You. And remember, voting opens after the last challenger, so good luck. Thank you. All right, thank you.